Hey guys, I hope that this audio works. I'm going to show you how to use um, Cam Scanner. So here's the Cam Scanner app that I have installed. I found it in the Play Store. Um, you should be able to see everything that I am doing right now. I don't want to start a free trial, so I'm just going to click the X. I want to start a new document. Um, so I'm in all docs right now. This is the default screen it brought me to. I'm just going to click the camera button to take a picture. Notice that I have this on a nice black background or a dark background. Just anything with high contrast will help this come up clear. I'm going to try and hold my phone steady, take a picture, clicking that picture button down there. It looks like it rotated it. I want to rotate it back. Um, that looks okay. Um, it automatically found the edges. It's better at finding edges when you've got a dark background against your light paper. Um, I don't really like that, honestly. I think I can try and get a better photo. So I'm going to go back and click back again, discard the image, and I'm going to just try it again. Let's try it again. Gonna rotate that again, and let's try processing that again. That looks a whole lot clearer to me. That's a great photo. So I'm gonna click save. And then wait for my phone to catch up. Okay, I wanna add a new page. It says I should tap the camera button, so I'm gonna go into the corner tap the camera button again to add another page, flip it over. Um, you see there are lots of different modes in the bottom. I'm just going to stick in the doc mode because this is the document. Um, no need to change those settings. You could choose ID card, book, OCR. It doesn't, like, just stick in the document mode for now, that docs mode that is highlighted at the bottom of the screen. I flip the page over. Here's the back. I'm going to try and hold it steady again. Let's see how good it looks when it tries to scan it. Again, like that's not bad, that's okay. I'm personally gonna try and like get it just a little better. It looked a little blurry there, so I'm gonna discard this one again and try and take another photo. That looks pretty good, I think. Let's see how it handles. Yeah, that looks really clear. So I'm gonna save that one. And I'm going to wait for my phone to process stuff. Da, da, da. And we see that I've got both pages of my document here. right? So now I want to just do a PDF. So I'm going to click that button, PDF button at the top of the screen. Wait for it to do stuff. Creating a PDF file. Here I've got the PDF. Now I want to share it. So I'm just going to share this, and I am going to email it to myself or save it to my drive. I could do either of those things, but I'm going to have to get it somewhere on my phone or on a computer, and then I'm going to upload it to Gradescope. So I could also do save to local here. That'll save it directly to my phone. So you could email it to yourself if you want to go to your computer. You could uh, save it to local to put it um, just directly onto your phone. Now I'm going to go switch over to Gradescope on my computer and show you how to upload from Gradescope on your computer. So I am going to email this one to myself. So I'm going to use Gmail, I guess, and send this to myself as an attachment. Sent. Okay, I'll meet you guys next over on my computer.